Hi ladies, once again, as I said, I would upload another short fitness video for you. This time it's gonna be for stomach, thighs, bums. Um, those three areas that we all like to keep nice and toned. So I'm gonna start with one of my favorites. It's called a lunge. This now is for the bottom, uh, the um, hamstrings, which is this area here at the back of your thigh and the front of your thigh. Now there's a few exercises that we can do for that. The first one being a lunge. Now this is the position that you have to get yourself into. You have to move and tilt your hip flexor forward and you have to make sure that you've got enough weight distributed on your front leg that runs through into your heel. So if you look at my form, now a lot of people in the gym do this holding weights. That is a really good way to do it because you intensify the um, weight on the muscles when you're doing the lunge. But if you're a starter, this is absolutely brilliant as well. So I'm just gonna show you the actual movement that you can do. So tilt your hip flexor forward and you go down and up. Now you make sure that your knee does not extend your toe that's on the front of the floor. Now, another way that I do these, I can do them interchanging my legs, like so, obviously you have to get your balance right. Or, the other fantastic one is a, is a travelling lunge. So, you work through, you land on your heel, and you come off on your toe. And these are really brilliant if you're doing power walking or jogging and you can widen the stride as well. Fantastic for working in this area. Now the other exercise that I do, it's preferable if you've got a mat. Um, on your hands and knees, make sure your back is straight. This is fantastic for your bum and your thighs and the back of your thighs. So, Make sure you're stabilised with your hands and your foot on the floor and your knee. You point your foot to the ceiling and you take your foot up and you squeeze your bottom as you go up. Now you can do as many of those as you want and then you can do repeaters which intensifies the end of the exercise or you can add into this, you flex your foot at the end and it's almost like a bicep curl using your leg. Now you can also straighten your leg and extended lip leg raises, leg raises, sorry. Now these exercises are absolutely brilliant for cellulite as well. But remember, when you're doing them, you have to squeeze your bottom and your thigh when you're lifting your leg up and you've got the extended leg raise as well. Fantastic. Now, going from the legs, we're gonna to go to the tums. I always find that the best kind of stomach exercise you can do is an exercise whereby you take your legs off the ground so that all of the, the stress and the support is put onto the stomach, particularly the lower abdomen, because if you've had children, that is where a woman is gonna have a weaker part of her tummy. So the exercises that I do when I'm in the gym are a style of crunch. They're not the old fashioned sit-ups, they're an isolation exercise. So you have your legs off the floor, you cross your feet at the, bottom, at the uh, ankle, hands behind your head, and you raise your head to the toes of your shoes and you drop and you squeeze your tummy on the way up. You don't do that because that won't get you anywhere because all you'll do is put stress on your neck and you won't be working the tummy muscles. So this is one exercise so you can go up and you can do 16 or 24 of those. When you get to the 24th, you then do little repeaters and then after you've done so many repeaters, you go back to the slow, squeezed tummy crunch. 
Now, the other tummy exercises that I incorporate when I do this is support the head and straight the legs out and in. Into the chest. Into the chest. And as many of those as you can cope with. And then the other one that I like to do is extending your leg, tucking it in, extending your leg. Now what you're doing when you're doing this exercise is you're completely working the lower part of your tummy and you can really feel that. Now, if you incorporate those with the extended leg movement in and out, keeping your lower back flat to the floor and the legs in the air, you will, after a very short period of time, receive really wonderful results. Now, what Karen and I are going to do, we're going to take turns in having short uploads with exercises that we, that we actually do ourselves. They are exercises that I do on a regular basis. And uh, I'm going to leave you to get on with them. And I hope you've enjoyed that. And I look forward to my next upload. Thank you. Bye, girls.